Here we go. Front and center. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? My name is Dylan. Welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a really interesting story to tell you. So for those of you that don't know, I actually used to work at Putt Putt Fun Center. And while I was there, there was a lot of really awesome stuff. Well, I, awesome or interesting? More, more so interesting. Anyways, I want to tell you about a really absolutely hilarious car crash that happened. And, and I know that sounds bad. <laughs> Just saying that. But no one got hurt, so technically I'm allowed to make fun of this. Really? One day while I was working at Putt Putt, we had a car accident in the parking lot. And it was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. This story is so stupid. So I'm working with my buddy Devin. Cassidy, if you're watching this, I don't know why you're watching this, but hey. I'm working with my buddy Devin. We're in Putt Putt. My boss is there and we're just chilling, right? Just chilling. We're just chilling. We have security cameras so we can kind of see the parking lot. We can see what's going on. Devin comes up and he's like, bro, there's fire trucks. There's police cars. There's there's something going on in the parking lot. And me, me being me, I'm like, yo, let's find out what's up, bro. So Detective Dylan and Detective Devin just put on our gloves and well, I put on one glove. He put on two gloves. <laughs> And uh, we went outside to see what was going on. And it honestly just appeared that it was a simple car accident. Wrong. So we go back and we're watching the security camera footage to see exactly what went down. And oh my God, dude, here we go. Here we go. First off, this lady was no ordinary lady. She had a very special talent called not having a brain. Oh! Yo, this lady was not from Earth. She was from a different planet. She was in a different planet in her mind. Keep in mind, this is a busy street. I'll, I'll try to explain to you guys how you get down into the mini golf place. We basically have this giant, I'm gonna try to do this in the camera. We basically have this giant ramp that people drive down to come into the parking lot. And there's this road like this, where people go that way and that way. And there's like three lanes on each side. So people, and it's like rush hour, but there's like hella cars out there. So in the security camera footage, we see this lady, I think, pull out from one of the buildings, like 200 feet down the road. And you guys know how it works, right? When you pull onto a road, you either go right or left, but you can only go left if you're gonna be on the other side of the road, right? Really? I feel like an idiot trying to explain this to you because I feel like this is common knowledge. Wrong. This lady is like, no. Rush hour? Not worried about it. Ludicrous speed! Yo, instead of going right, okay, she goes left. But instead of getting on the other side of the road, she just goes left, bro. Screw it. I'm driving toward traffic. And there's just cars honking away like, get the f*** out of the road! And it's so funny watching her because, like, the average person would be like, oh my god, like, okay, I gotta get out of the road. No, dude, not her. She gave zero f I don't know what was going through her mind when she was sitting on the wrong side of the road, but I'm guessing it was something along the lines of, it. I made it this far. I might as well keep going. So she keeps driving on the wrong side of the road. No fear. Definitely respect it. And eventually she just gives up. She's like, all right, I'm done playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm just going to pull into the mini golf place. So she pulls down into the mini golf place. She turns around and she goes back up the ramp to leave to drive, hopefully on the right side of the road. Wrong. She gets to the top. Okay. And instead of pulling back out into traffic, she sits there for like a good three or four minutes, probably trying to figure out what just happened. There's a good chance she's in a different world right now. So who knows? So after sitting there, for three or four minutes she ends up coming halfway down the the ramp like she just goes in reverse halfway down the ramp and stops for like another two minutes this is when the story just gets so much better i guess she realized okay it's time to leave maybe i should go do something responsible and not drive on the wrong side of the road to get there wrong my guess is that she forgot she was in reverse and instead of stepping on the gas and going right to leave she went backwards and right and went down the hill and railed another car Nice. Okay, so there's three things that are absolutely hilarious about this situation. So the first thing is that the first car that she hit was actually a fire marshal's car. Oops, sorry. I mean, imagine this fire marshal's here playing mini golf with his daughter. He looks over and sees his car just get demolished by some crazy lady going backwards down a hill. Like, what? The look on this dude's face was so funny. Like, he's just standing there looking, like trying to figure out what happened. He's like, you know what, dude? F my life. What are the chances she hits a fire marshal's car? Second thing that's absolutely hilarious about this whole situation. There was only two people at the mini there was only two people playing golf we have this big ass parking lot there's only two cars in it and she manages to hit one of the two cars in the parking lot again i'm just making up stuff that's going through this lady's head but i'm guessing she was like Fuck it there's one car i'm gonna hit it third thing that's absolutely hilarious about this whole situation she somehow managed to get her door all the way open 
while going in reverse down a hill. I don't know if she was trying to bail, what type of maneuver she was trying to do, but as she comes down the hill, her door swings open and like half her body is hanging out of the car. As the car swings down, she falls back in the car and her door just gets destroyed by the vehicle that she hit. Dude, I don't even know if this story makes sense anymore because there's just so many stupid things happening. But regardless though, all in a matter of like three minutes, how do you manage to drive on the wrong side of the road, go reverse down a hill, hit a fire marshal's car and fall halfway out your car door? We're good, streaky! Just try to picture in your head how this all happened. Exactly, you can't because it doesn't. Hopefully by watching this video, this will encourage some of you guys to not do drugs and drive or yeah, something like that. Dude, this like hurts my brain trying to figure out what I would do if I was in this situation. After everything was said and done, I honest, I thought it was so badass that she was able to drive on the wrong side of the road and just not care at all. Like that is so cool, dude. Like I only do that in video games. I would never try that in real life. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll make sure to leave links to all my social media down below because I'm a star, dude. Really? Anyway, guys, again, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next. Yeah.